whiskey, sherry, hard cider, beer. John Adams loved it all. So let's drink like a president who knew what he was doing. This is all the president's drinks. John Adams threw a huge 4th of July bash at his home in Philadelphia. The drink served was some sort of wine with rum together. The recipe hasn't survived, but we're going to sleuth through history to figure out what it was. First, we know that John Adams loved Madeira. Plus, the signers toasted the signing of the Declaration of Independence with Madeira. So those guys really needed a drink. We also know that Madeira was often combined with rum for drinks in the late 18th century. So here I have just a nice aged rum. We're going to start with one part Madeira. How much is one part depends on how big you want your drink to be. I'm going to do one tablespoon. That was a heaping tablespoon. Then you add three parts of aged rum. Now the good news is that a traditional shot is about three tablespoons, so that works. Now we're going to add half a teaspoon of simple syrup. Making simple syrup is just as easy as boiling water. It's one part water to one part sugar, boiled in a pot until the sugar dissolves, and then you're done. And this will keep for a long time in the refrigerator. Now the sugar that I'm using is called Demerara sugar. If you cannot find this, it's totally fine to just use regular white sugar. Our last ingredient is a couple of dashes of bitters. Now bitters were really the thing in the late 18th century. Then you're just gonna give the cocktail a little stir just to mix things up, no big deal. Now I'm going to serve this drink with ice and one big ice cube because that's the way it would have been served in the summertime in a punch. As John Adams wrote, human nature with all its infirmities and deprivation is still capable of great things. Cheers.